One of the factors that's very important and often misunderstood about ballistic solutions is the ballistic coefficient of the bullet. Okay, the ballistic coefficient of the bullet, or the BC, is basically a measure of the bullet's performance. The higher the BC, the better the bullet will retain velocity downrange. And velocity retention is connected to every element of ballistic performance that you really care about, like drop and wind drift, and ultimately hit percentage. So for long range shooting, you want to select a bullet with a high ballistic coefficient. And when it comes time to predict a trajectory for your bullet, it's important that you know the exact value of that BC accurately. Okay, there's different BCs referenced to different standards. You can either reference a BC to the G1 standard or the G7 standard. Okay, there's many other standards. Those are the two main ones. The G1 standard is an old standard of a bullet that's not representative of modern bullets really anymore. The consequence of referencing G1 BCs is that the BC changes a lot over the flight range of the bullet starts out high when the bullet's fast and that BC lowers as the bullet slows down. And what that means is when you try to predict a trajectory with a BC that changes over the flight, it's hard to do it with accuracy. Your solution may be on at 600, but off at 1000 or vice versa. Uh, a BC reference to the G7 standard, however, is more constant over the range of flight. So it doesn't really matter what range you have your BC identified for, the G7 BC will stay constant and your solution will be accurate at all ranges. So this is just a basic overview of what BCs are. For more information, you can read the Applied Ballistics books, which go into more detail in layman's terms in a way that helps you understand this material better so that you can apply it in the field towards centering your group on the target.